Welcome to Art Scene. In this episode, we will explore a video recap of the Unfair Art Show during Armory Arts Week 2013. This is the first of four videos, so check it out and stay tuned. Yeah, I got stood up on it for a date recently. I know what you're thinking. No way. <laughs> I'm Joe Cogazello, and I was in charge of uh, the elevator comedians for the uh, Unfair Art Show. It's a normally awkward elevator ride with a bunch of strangers turned into an awkward elevator ride with comedy. <laughs> you never want to start dating anybody uh, when you're unemployed, because you know you're just going to wind up part of a story of how bad their lives used to be. <laughs> well, I was 20 pounds heavier than The tiny stage in an elevator was the most adorable thing. I want to thank uh, the dudes that built that. That was that was like it, it was a tiny little show in a in an elevator. Like it's it was nice. It was a really it was a great experience for uh, hopefully everyone that uh, like got a chance to be in the audience. And I I was talking to my comedian friends and they all had a blast. So it it was really outside the comedy box. And uh, it's nice to do stand up in weird little places, make people laugh. Michael Glass and I, Michael Glass is an artist in the building, and this is one of the last 19th century factory warehouse spaces in all of Hell's Kitchen in the neighborhood, and this space is about to be turned into housing, and so uh, this exhibition is a bit of a fond farewell and a celebration of the building. The space really inspired the show with its beautiful grid and its beautiful archways and its, its beautiful factory warehouse nature and all of the artwork we selected for the show was curated to interact with the space or make a commentary on the space in some way. This is a massive project that I would usually want three or four months to put together and we put this show together in three and a half weeks. Uh, Michael and myself and a number of people on our team haven't been sleeping or eating properly, but it was all very, very well worth it because the response uh, has been overwhelmingly positive and we couldn't be more touched and excited by how people are embracing the show. I wanted to set the context for the show by putting in paintings of what the neighborhood used to look like uh, and, and juxtapose that against some contemporary art that sort of uh, represents what the future will bring. There's an adage, one man's garbage is another man's treasure, and that's very much the case here when I find an old broken machine and I can, I can take it apart and repurpose elements of it to, to make art out of it. The best moment for me being involved in this exhibit is sort of the culmination of many years of bugging my landlord to actually allow us to do it. And I think that there was years of pent up energy um, that actually went into the curation process that uh, allowed it to become much more than just the sum of the three weeks that we actually physically spent making the show. Yeah. Very, very smart, very real, very contemporary. We have someone inside of the street asking you to go somewhere. You're a little bit like put up initially, but then we stepped in and within the first five seconds of being in here, we're all like, oh, this is a great decision. This episode just scratched the surface of the unfair experience. Come back next time to dig a little deeper for more unfair fun. <laughs>